Right, we're off to air for race 20, over two miles, one furlong. It's a uh, handicap, 0 to 90 handicap for three hours and up. One is Canterbury for John Morgan, two Star Deli, Alex Cherry, three Slotty Bartfast, Patrick Hogan, uh, four is in the pink, Kevin Minigan, five Harlem Raw, Stu Gray, six Golden Gate, Obi Wan, seven Eagle Feathers, Martin Edom, eight is Captain Paddy, Alex Cherry, and nine is Trusted for Obi Wan. So nine horses at the start. And away they go. A good break by a slightly bite fast for Patrick Hogan. Goes to the front, but quickly passed by Kevin Minigas in the pink and also um, right on the outside. Eagle Feathers from Martin Edom has not gone up to lead. So Eagle Feathers goes to lead um, from Canterbury in second, then comes in the pink on the wide outside of uh, Captain Paddy, the grey horse for Alex Cherry. Just behind that slightly bite fast on the inside of that. On the inside of that is the second Alex Cherry or Star Daddy on the rail. We have Harlem Wall for Stu Gray. Trusted is out, is at the back of the field and out very wide is Golden Gate for Obi-Wan. So Eagle Feathers takes him along for Martin Needham. He's about two lengths clear of John Morgan's Canterbury and it's about six lengths back to Kevin Meenigan's in the pink who's just uh, pokes up in front of a Star Daddy on the railway of Harlem Raw. In between horses is Golden Gate on that one's outside is slightly bought for with the black cap and yellow colours. Um, at the back of the field uh, Trusted is out wide and Star Daddy at the back for Alex Cherry. But Eagle Feathers, as they go from their final stokers, is clear by about three lengths from uh, Canterbury in second. Harlem Raw behind that for Stu Gray, about six lengths further back. On the rail just behind Harlem Raw is Trusted. S uh, sl Captain uh, Star Daddy is just on the outside of Trusted. Then Slotty Bardfast, uh, it's about three wide. On the outside of Slotty Bardfast is Captain Paddy the Grey Horse for Alex Cherry. In the pig just behind that for Kevin Meenigan and Golden Gate is about six wide and trading in the field at this stage as Eagle Feathers still leads for Martin Leedham as they're on the far side of the track. About four lengths clear now of Canterbury in second. Uh, another four lengths back to Harlem Raw with Star Daddy just behind that. On the inside of Star Daddy is Trusted. Captain Paddy out wide for Alex Cherry. Slotty Bardfast in between horses in the pink it's about five wide and the screen colours for Kevin Meenigan and at the back of the field still going about five wide at this stage is Golden Gate for Obi One. So with about a mile left to travel Eagle Feathers has now opened up about five lengths from Canterbury in second. Canterbury coming back to the main pack with Harlem Raw in pursuit with Star Daily just on his outside. Stable Companion, the grey horse, Captain Paddy just behind that. Slotty Bartfoss in between those two. In the pink and those green colours just on the outside of that. In the back of the field we have the two OB1 horses, Golden Gate and Trusted. The field is not to pack up much, but not uh, to the leader. Eagle Feather still well clear. Four lengths clear of Canterbury, who is only about two lengths clear now of Slanty Bartfast, who's moving up on the outside of Star Daddy. Harlem Raw's dropped a few places in the pink on the outside of Harlem Raw. Um, in between those two is Captain Paddy, and on the rail just behind Captain Paddy's Golden Gate with Trusted um, now moving past Harlem Raw. Is Eagle Feathers not so far clear now? Canterbury only about two lengths adrift. Then comes Slanty Bartfast, Star Daddy moving forward for Alex Cherry in the pink on the outside, also creeping closer for Kevin Minigan and making a forward move now as well as Golden Gate for Obi Wan and on his inside is Captain Paddy. So it's a swing for home here at air and Eagle Feathers is still in front, but here come the challengers and it's what Golden Gate has come from the back of the field to move closer to Eagle Feathers. Eagle Feathers trying to kick from the front with Golden Gate back in, in pursuit. Captain Paddy behind that on the rail is Canterbury, but he's trying to struggle slightly by fast in the pink trying to get going. Star Daddy needs some room, he's stuck behind horses, but it's Eagle Feathers still in front from Golden Gate who's now moving up on his outside and Golden Gate with two phones left to travel comes to the front for Obi Wan. Golden Gate hits the front from on the inside. Go Eagle Feathers and then comes uh, Captain Paddy and Canterbury. Golden Gate's got to the front for Obi Wan and starts to draw clear with a third left to travel. It's Golden Gate for Obi Wan from Eagle Feathers. Slotty bar fast. Looks like he might try to slow down the challenge, but Golden Gate has enough advance in hand here. And Golden Gate's going to win the man gap from there. Golden Gate wins from Eagle Feathers. I think Captain Paddy was third. Slotty bar fast might have been fourth. I'll confirm those minor placings, but definitely the winner, Golden Gate for Obi Wan. Wins comfortably. From Eagle Feathers in second, Captain Buddy was third, uh, Canterbury was fourth, and Slotty Bartfoss was fifth. So win for Obi-Wan in the air race with Golden Gate.